You grab the radio in your car, twist the dial, and suddenly you're listening to crystal clear music that sounds like the band is sitting right there in your back seat. Then you accidentally bump the dial and land on an AM station, and it sounds like the musicians are performing inside a tin can filled with angry bees. What gives? Why does FM radio sound so much better than AM radio? Today, I'll explain the difference between AM and FM radio like you're 5 years old, and by the end, you'll understand why your favorite songs sound amazing on one station and like they're being transmitted through a potato on another. Here's the simple answer. FM radio changes the speed of radio waves to carry music. While AM radio changes the weight of radio waves, FM's method is much better at ignoring electrical noise from lighting, car engines, and other interference so that you hear less static. FM also has a wider highway that can carry more information, meaning it transmits the full range of sound from deep bass to high cymbals, plus it can do stereo. AM's narrower bandwidth only carries middle range sound well, making music sound flat and tiny. Both send invisible waves through the air, but FM's approach makes music sound richer and clearer. Let me show you how this works. Let's start with what radio waves actually are, because that's the foundation of this whole thing. Radio waves are invisible ripples of energy that travel through the air. Kind of like when you throw a stone into a pond and see those circles spreading out across the water. Except, instead of water ripples, we're talking about energy ripples that you can't see. And instead of spreading across the pond, they're flying through the air all around you right now. These invisible energy ripples can carry information, like music or people talking, from one place to another. That's how the song playing at the radio station miles away ends up coming out of the speakers in your car. Now, imagine these radio waves as invisible roller coasters flying through the sky. The distance from one peak to the next peak is called the wavelength. Some radio waves have really long roller coaster tracks with peaks that are far apart, and others have short tracks with peaks that are close together. The number of peaks that go by in one second is called the frequency. If lots of peaks zoom by every second, that's a high frequency. AM radio stands for amplitude modulation. That is a fancy way of saying changing the height. Remember our invisible roller coaster flying through the sky? Well, AM radio takes that roller coaster and makes some parts taller and some parts shorter to carry the music or voices. When the music gets loud, the roller coaster peaks get really tall. When the music gets quiet, the peaks get really short. When someone whispers into the microphone at the radio station, the peaks become tiny little bumps. When they shout, the peaks become giant mountains. The radio wave is like a roller coaster that is constantly changing how tall its hills are, and those height changes represent the sound that you hear. FM radio stands for frequency modulation, which means changing the speed. Instead of making the roller coaster taller or shorter, FM radio changes just how fast the peaks go by. It's like the roller coaster is speeding up and slowing down to carry the music instead of getting taller and shorter. Fast peaks for loud sounds, slower peaks for quiet sounds. So why does this difference make FM sound so much better? Well, imagine you're trying to listen to your friend tell you a story, but there are a bunch of other kids around making noise. Some kids are throwing balls, some are shouting random things, and some are just being generally distracting. In the world of radio waves, there's a lot of noise flying around too. The noise comes from lightning storms, car engines, fluorescent lights, microwaves, and all sorts of electrical things that can create their own invisible energy ripples. When this noise hits an AM radio signal, it messes with the height of the roller coaster peaks. Remember, AM radio uses the height of the peaks to carry the music, so when noise makes some peaks taller or shorter, it changes the music. That noise becomes part of what you hear as static, crackling, or that annoying buzzing sound. It's like someone keeps interrupting your friend's story by shouting random words, and now the story doesn't make sense anymore. But here's the clever thing about FM radio. Since FM uses the speed of the peaks instead of the height, most of that noise doesn't matter as much. The noise might make some peaks a little taller or shorter, but it doesn't usually change how fast they're going by. It's like your friend is telling you the story by talking faster or slower, and even though there are kids shouting around you, they're not changing just how fast your friend talks. You can still understand the story perfectly because the speed changes are what matter, not whether someone else is being loud nearby. This is why AM radio sounds scratchy and full of static, especially at night or during storms, while FM radio sounds clear and crisp. There's another reason FM sounds better, and it has to do with something called bandwidth. Think of bandwidth like the width of a highway. AM radio is like a narrow country road where only one car can fit at a time. FM radio is like a wide superhighway where lots of cars can drive side by side. This highway width determines just how much information can travel along the radio wave at the same time. AM radio's narrow highway can only carry a limited range of these sounds. It's pretty good at carrying the middle sounds, like people talking or singing, but it has trouble with the really deep bass sounds and the super high squeaky sounds. It's like a parade where only the people in the middle can march, but the tall people and the short people have to stay home. 
You still get a parade, but it's not as exciting as it could be. FM radios with superhighway can carry a much bigger range of sounds all at the same time. The deep bass notes, the high cymbal crashes, the singer's voice, and everything in between can all travel together without getting squished or left behind. It's like a parade where everyone gets to march, from the tallest person down to the shortest, and they can all fit comfortably on the wide street. This is why when you listen to your favorite song on FM radio, you can hear all the instruments clearly. The drums sound punchy, the bass guitar sounds deep and rumbly, and the singer's voice sounds smooth. But when you hear that same song on AM radio, it might sound flat and tinny, like it's missing something important. It's not that the AM radio station is doing anything wrong, it's just that their narrow highway can't carry all the parts of the music that make it sound amazing. There's also something called stereo sound that makes FM radio even better. Stereo means that the music can sound like it's coming from different directions. When you listen with headphones or through car speakers, some sounds might come from far to your left and others might come from your right, making it feel like the band is spread out around you instead of just coming from the one spot. It's like the difference between watching a movie on a tiny phone screen versus watching it in a big theater with surround sound. FM radio can do stereo, which means it can send different sounds to your left and right speakers, making the music feel more spacious and realistic. This makes the music feel more alive and like you're actually there listening to the band perform. The invisible roller coaster waves of AM and FM radio also travel differently through the air, and this affects how they sound when they reach your radio. AM radio waves are like really determined messengers that can travel super far, especially at night. They can bounce off the upper layers of the atmosphere and hop from city to city. This is why sometimes at night you can pick up AM radio stations from hundreds or even thousands of miles away. It's pretty cool, but it also means that signals from far away can interfere with the station that you're trying to listen to, creating more noise and static. FM radio waves are more like really well-behaved local messengers. They mostly travel in straight lines and don't bounce around as much. But this is actually a good thing for sound quality, because it means that you're less likely to get interference from distant stations. The FM signal that you're hearing is probably coming from a nearby station with a clear path to your radio, so it sounds clean and clear without a bunch of competing signals mixed in. Weather also affects these two types of radios differently. AM radio is like a sensitive friend who gets cranky when there's a thunderstorm. Lightning creates electrical noise that messes with those roller coaster peak heights, making AM radio sound even more staticky and hard to understand during bad weather. FM radio is like a chill friend who doesn't get bothered by storms as much. The lightning might create some noise, but since FM cares about the speed of peaks rather than their height, the music keeps sounding good even when it's raining and thundering outside. AM radio though isn't terrible, it's just designed for a different job. AM is great for talk radio, news, and sports because human voices don't need all those extra high and low sounds that music needs. AM can travel much farther than FM, which is usually for reaching people in remote areas or for emergency broadcasts. Some AM stations can be heard across multiple states at night, but when it comes to making your favorite song sound amazing, FM radio is definitely the winner. So let's recap this invisible wave adventure. FM radio sounds better than AM radio because it changes the speed of radio waves instead of their height making it much more resistant to electrical noise and interference. AM is still useful for talk radio and long distance broadcasting, but for music, FM is the clear winner. But now you know why that classic rock station sounds so crisp on FM but turns into a fuzzy mess when you accidentally land on AM. So go forth and tune your radio with confidence.